is totally not just hosting Geek Fake TV. I haven't done that yet. Oh, no! It's fine. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome in. You're watching twitch.tv slash TV, and we're very excited to have you here. As I am posting in this chat room right now, it's not what are we? What are we doing? Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, are we all doing? Are we having a hosting I know. I'm, I'm like, we're, okay, here yes. we go. Wait, what, is, what is it again? Truth. What it's not going to be me. Host Back slash back. host. Done. And uh -huh. then you put Geek Space TV. Everybody can do it. Come along. Let's go. Host Geek Space, please. <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't know if I did this. I don't I think it. I did this. Hello, everybody. I don't it know, know what I'm doing. to have all of you here for episode two of season two of Leviathan. you got to be in your own chat. Um, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Are you ready? Are we, are we good? Go, go for it. I'm go just going to... Leviathan Distant Stars is a stars without number RPG, uh, which is an RPG system that you can acquire for free, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we are going to be presenting tonight a space opera themed show. Uh, I'm going to have some announcements, oh. we're going to introduce our players, and then we're going to dig right in to the pleasurable goodness of tonight's episode. Uh, <laughs> I forgot my wings. No! I was like, why am I so oh, cool? So oh. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? We are so profesh. I mean, it's been... Should I wait? No, I, I literally well, forgot about We'll start the stream over. No, it's cool. I'll just wear this jacket. Yeah, you're... For some reason, the microphone's not. That's going not working. So... <laughs> Technical back difficulty. Now, there we go. Uh, hello. This gives Can you hear me on today. that microphone? It's not I am speaking so now. I will do announcements tonight, and then we will play an RPG. Cool. cool. Thanks, everybody. All right. Huh. Uh, Mishka's Conrad, now she's in mourning. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> deep or cut. maybe now it is mourning. Uh, oh. oh. Uh, how do we tell time and space? Wait, I have the answer to that. Anyway. <laughs> she sure does. I updated it. I ca calculated time. So. Let's uh, start with some reminders about how you can support Geek Space TV. We are a nonprofit streaming studio in the Seattle area, and that means we partially thrive and rely, and by partially I mean entirely thrive and rely of your generous donations. Uh, we have a goal for each show, which includes paying the cast members and our producer. Uh, there's also a Patreon if you would like to set up a regular monthly donation. Um, we will be reading out the donations that come through uh, at the break and at the end of the show, and we're very excited and we love hearing all of your messages. And any amount, small or large, is truly appreciated. So thank you in do advance. You, do you think it's pa Patreon in England? A Patreon? Patreon. No, because oh. you would say you have a patron, not a patron. You, no, but... Because it's patronizing. But I right. wouldn't, I mean, I would get patronage, but I don't think i get patronage. I think I'd get patronage. I think a patron is a thing, though. Like, a patron it is, is it like... Is yes, a it is a thing. That's, a That's where the <laughs> Patreon comes from. So, Patreon. Like a unicorn. I don't know why. I think like, it might be Patreon. Okay. If, if a unicorn is named Patreon, it is. it be called Patreon. We have gone well far off the rails <laughs> we, already, and it has We really fun. have. Thanks for that, Dan. <laughs> You're welcome. I got plenty more with that. You can also send through uh, regular donations, and that is also appreciated. Uh, so thank you for all of that. Uh, if you do not have money, that's okay. You can totally watch and share the stream in other ways. Being here is one of the super awesome ways. Hosting the stream, tweeting it out, sharing it across your various forms of social media, sharing it by word of mouth is also awesome and helps encourage other people to watch it. So please spread the good word of the Leviathan. <laughs> Well, the LDS. On to your Spread the good word of hashtag LDS. And, and preach the good word. Uh, space has has no rails. Walls are <laughs> blank for your words. Write them everywhere. Yes, what? I believe we have just had encouraged soapboxes and uh, graffiti. So we're off to a, we're off to a great start. It's off to a great start. As an English person, you're extremely on invented. all street corners. Yes, proselytizing. So there'll be soapboxes for everyone will get soap. <laughs> it's oh, sorry, Claudia. sorry. You were wrong, Dan. It's space mm. In England. Yes. Spatronage? Yeah. Because spatronage. Right. Spatronage. I'm not. I'm not even gonna begin. Because oh wrong my god, with that. I have to start. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So uh, I think that covers all of our regular uh, weekly announcements. 
I have some awesome announcements for you specifically related to this show as well as related to other things that are happening on Geek Space TV. So our first announcement. Oh, wait, this is a big deal. Yeah, these are, these are <laughs> come kind of important things. You don't have to care. That's fine. Uh, our first announcement is we, during season two for Leviathan Distant Stars, uh, we will be joined by two different... Mm? Vinge, Fluffin. Yeah. Fluffin, internet. If we dance, yeah, it'll look like we're be being strobed. Oh, we can hear. Or it'll, okay. Do you? Oh, if I was dance, just, it'll like oh, be bad yeah. for the I was holding my breath till it came back. Be, it'll be, it'll uh, take more bandwidth. More yeah. pixels. That's how you fix a stream, is you hold your control. breath until it comes back yeah. online. Wait, it's really? like going through a tunnel. Because then the pixels yeah. don't change, so you can save. And then you're like, yeah, and then the computer's like, oh, it's the same. We don't put extra energy into this. Yes. Uh, so I, speaking, speaking of something that was just posted in chat, we are going to be joined by two different people for different parts of season two of Leviathan Distant Stars. The first one will be joining us for the month of February, uh, and we will be joined by the streamer Blue Jay, who I'm very excited. I have streamed with her, I've done RPGs with her, she's a lovely human, um, so follow her over on the various social medias, and she will be joining us starting in February. And then at the end of our season, we will be joined by the lovable troll that you all may already know, uh, Mr. Tiny Tony Beeman. <laughs> Which I feel like I should sound more excited about that. You can find him on Twitter <laughs> at Tiny Beeman. Yeah. I'm just I'm just suddenly flashbacked to the way he would do introductions, which involved blaming me for decisions that he made. So <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I just I hadn't been in this seat and said his name in a while, so I didn't know that it was gonna cause some like Trauma. Trauma. Yeah. Like, apparently, I, I didn't either. I'm legitimately <laughs> excited for all the different cast members so we can get a different flavor. Like, mm -hmm. I bring mm -hmm. the Cajun spice. Uh, and uh, so the true question yeah. is... <laughs> how, I bring the dirty spice. How, <laughs> what spice girl are you? <laughs> Scary spice? Excellent. <laughs> so we have Cajun, That's an actual spice. Dirty, <laughs> actual spice Scary. Girl. So Tony will be the troll. I'm red spice. Mm -hmm. uh, cayenne, I guess. So you can you can have Cajun if you like Cajun. No, no, no. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> you look like I stole it. No, paprika. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh. Um, paprika spice. So we will be joined <laughs> by two wonderful people for various portions of our second season. The true question is: Is how will the crew of the Batleth handle this? My my suspected not answer is well. not well. No, <laughs> without grace or dignity, I have no. <laughs> I have no hope for grace or dignity. Look, it's been a whole week since I've had a background. <laughs> yes. yeah. Without grace or dignity, up for replacing distant stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leviathan without grace or dignity. Um, so for those of you who don't know, uh, Tony was on the Shadow and Corporate Sins show that I ran a while back, and uh, Blue Jay has been on a couple of other shows on various other channels. So. I'm very excited. We will have more character information about them later. I'm very real. Some of it's because I have no idea what this crew is going to get up to in that amount of time. <laughs> I think I have an idea, but I don't actually know if it's going to happen. You sound like, you make it sound like we don't have any clue what we're doing. You guys do know what you're doing, and then you hand me gems, and I'm like, oh, I guess we should polish these rather than dealing with the pile that I have over here. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing. We should just get a tumbler and throw them all in at once. Oh, oh that's yet? way more efficient. Yeah. Hmm. Um, okay. I'm talking about a website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I thought so. so <laughs> you know, a, a rock tumbler. I understand, but then it made me think about, you would be great. I... So, wow. uh, you can look forward to those individuals joining us. The other announcements that I have for you um, are related to uh, the new shows that are going to be coming up. And yes, I said the word shows that are going to be happening coming this, uh, starting not this Friday, but the following Friday, the first Friday in February. Uh, we have a, a short run show for you. Uh, this show, which I feel like you haven't, you'll, you can add to that announcement. Um, <laughs> this show is entitled uh, A Manner of Speaking, and it is a good society RPG, which for those of you who have not heard of this, it is a Jane Austen RPG, which I am very excited about. I will be running this. I will be the facilitator. Um, and uh, someone, does someone want to say something? I'm going to be on it! <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good accent. What's up? That wasn't an accent. Oh, that was no. me being enthusiastic. And you can look for them on Patreon. You can. <laughs> All Patreon. I'm going to have to work on my English accent. Because it's not good. 
is better than mine. I'm be real. You guys don't have to do British accents. That's fine. Yes, we do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, they do. Thank you. Oi, governor. Unless we are specifically playing uh, Americans, which AJ has thrown. Oh, AJ's going to be on it. Spoiler! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say we were going to announce the cast later, but at this point. Sorry! <laughs> we've got, we've got two I got them. too excited! <laughs> The four. Oh, yes, it is on Twitter. We will also be joined by Genki Soda or Aria, and our last player is going to be Space Cat or Andy. Um, I am very excited. I will be running them through uh, plotting and politeness and various other fables and foils. Um, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a jolly good show. I could not handle Like, I'm so glad you're doing this. <laughs> I have no politeness. I need you to know. I have no polite that bones I was in my born body. for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have at least three polite bones in your Going body? Going to take it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's okay, because I have lots of Jane Austen bones in my body. Mm. It's all right. Patreon. God damn it, stop. <laughs> We're never going to start the show. We're never going to start it. Okay. Sorry, gonna let you have uh, your show. So back that's now. gonna be running for four weeks in February, starting February second on Fridays at seven p.m. on this very channel. Uh, it's it's gonna be wonderful. I'm I'm very excited. I've already heard some little tidbits about certain people's characters, um, and I'm not gonna say I won't be in costume, but I can't guarantee that I will. <gasps> I want the biggest cravat. That's oh. yes, you could do that. I want a cravat. You could do that. That Dracula would be jealous. Are you just gonna okay. wear your cravat while you're at home watching it? I, I probably. I don't you have one. Do I mean, we could come in and watch it here. We could. Your cravat. Yes. Okay, so uh, next so week on wonderful. Friday, uh, we will not be live with a typical show or a traditional show. This week, next week on Friday, we will be live. This week on Friday, it. Uh, it's hard. I don't know what days are. We're um, distracted. This Friday, uh, Anna and myself will be doing a, uh, what did you call it? A wind down? I think she's promised me wine. Wind, wind, uh, down. wind down. Wind down. Wind. Um, wind down. Uh, in which we will shoot the shit and talk about what is happening with the channel, answer chats questions, and kind of hang out with you until my cast for Good Society show up. Um, so that we can build our characters <laughs> and practice. So that will probably be at about 5 p.m. on Friday, but stay tuned. There will undoubtedly be an official announcement of the time starting on the Twitters. Will it also uh, be a wind down? Maybe. <laughs> you'll, you'll get it. I, 5 I, p.m. I said that, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> I thought I did. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if so I will. that will be com that will be this Friday, and then a manner of speaking will be starting the following week. And after a manner of speaking ends, uh, we are very excited uh, to be running another show call, uh, that is based on the Broken Worlds game system, uh, which is based off of the comic Kill Six Billion Demons, which is a significant parallel or similar in many ways to the Exalted setting, uh, and that is going to be run by our very own Sour Fruit Junkie. Uh, or Steph, who was a one of the players on the Exalted show. Um, so she's going to be running her first ever RPG, so you better be Ooh. nice to her. <laughs> the nicest. The world or debut! I will track you down. Don't get on Lauren's back. It's really scary. Uh, the players for that show and their characters and more details about it, uh, including its official name, will be coming in the future. Shh, secrets. It's not, it's not really secrets. 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 I just uh, like being a snake. Uh, so I think that's all of our announcements. Entering the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> um, so, uh, a quick recap. <laughs> Donations are great. Uh, we're going to have be joined by Blue Jay and Tony Beeman, and a uh, good society RPG called Manor Speaking is starting, and then following that we will have a uh, Broken Worlds uh, slash Kill Six Billion Demons RPG um, for the remainder of the season on Friday night. If you have any questions, post them in chat, tweet at us. There's probably a tweet you can retweet, um, and I think we're good. Last time on the Bible <laughs> Distant <laughs> Stars. Okay. Wait, do you... Hmm? Do we introduce ourselves? Oh, no, you're right. We haven't. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Claudia, but I go by Jackie Dash. J-A-K-I-D-A-S-H. And I play Kika, who is our engineer, who's a little bit batty, really excited. Um, last time, 
Kika had to be escorted off the building <laughs> with, by getting her, her collar of her shirt yanked up. It's because, really funny. And then I broke some signs. Like Kika did, not me. I, I'm... Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's where we're at now, is mm-hmm. defacement of college property. Because mm. stupid professor was like... Mm-hmm. I really said no. I shouldn't have let you come. But that was that was my fault. As I was technical. I would. I have the technical knowledge. You that. want to have the technical knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> That's technically true. I'm technically throw this. true. You. Thank you. Oh, that was my beautiful. Name is Sarah. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Shell Game, and I play Thea Brown, who last we saw was probably studying with Conrad. <gasps> <laughs> I'm sorry, why Wait did you use air quotes? Um, because I'm pretty sure that they're not studying books. Oh, what, sure. what are they studying? They're probably studying um, the human anatomy. Oh, um, okay. okay. I thought we were going to get an innuendo, but... Well, I was kind of there. It was a little bit of an innuendo. Mm, no. 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 Your turn. Oh, great. <laughs> I... I, hi, I'm Dan Poslins. I'm at Dan Poslins on the internet. Uh, and I play Lieutenant Conrad Carls Jr., uh, who is a military officer who is now uh, believed to be dead by uh, the military that he, that he was birthed from, metaphorically. Uh, and kind of literally. <laughs> yeah, like physically. Like he was probably in a military hospital. I, well, yeah. Okay. Half, half of his DNA is military. I'd say At least. Probably 100%. I assume his mom's in the military. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, and he's uh, he's kind of going through some stuff. And <laughs> Sorry. Uh, You're not funny, Dan. I mean, you are, but not right now. You are being serious. I didn't think I was being that funny. I, uh, I know when I'm funny. We're, we're all 12. Long, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, he's he's going through some stuff emotionally, uh, and uh, I guess he's also, um, metaphorically speaking, uh, banging Thea. Metaphorically? <laughs> 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 no, like a joke. Poor oh, Thea! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought, uh, I don't know. like, I don't metaphorically know going Maybe. through some stuff. Oh yeah. my god. All right, uh. moving on! <laughs> Uh, and I am Lizzie the Bold. I am a part-time streamer, full-time Pride and Prejudice enthusiast, and I am playing Ziana, the captain of the uh, Batleth, uh, and also fellow crew member on uh, this here Leviathan, uh, large red alien. I haven't had a back rub in a long time, and it's not going well. And in this case, she means an actual back rub and not a euphemism. No, an actual, not a euphemistic back rub. Miss you, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah. Who and I am Random Tuesday. I am your GM for this evening as we play Leviathan Distant Stars. Last time on Leviathan. Okay, we got we got one. We got one. We're gonna start a thing. It's gonna happen at some point. Nope. <laughs> that <will> never happen. <laughs> I don't think you ever did it. You did. Sorry. He was grumpy about it. I was grumpy about it. That was my thing. Sure. That's fair. Uh, so previously, the crew of the Batleth uh, had <clears throat> escaped from the, in the last season, escaped from the near-death experience of being consumed by a large monstrous creature known as a Rays, <coughs> uh, which are essentially giant living ships that are part cybernetic that uh, want to destroy everything. It's pretty basic. Uh, they have... Uh, partnered up with a uh, experimental little baby living ship that um, was essentially is the only living survivor of the civilization that had created these rays. So they have several missions, one of which is to acquire some weaponry for this ship because uh, their civilization was destroyed before they got around to installing weapons in the baby. Um, it's, a little, it's a little baby ship. And uh, so they, uh, after, um, well, after Conrad nearly got court-martialed, but instead was declared dead through some quick lying on the Six part of, of the captain. Six of one, half dozen of was the Was it quick lying? It took us like 40 minutes to get <laughs> no, it was super good. The, the actual lying portion was really fast. It was, yeah. it was getting there. That took a little bit of time. Uh, so after, <laughs> after. after some long thinking and quick lying uh, on the part of the crew of the bat uh Conrad was, uh, has now been declared dead. Uh, and they then discussed what was going to be the best way for them to 
kind of a two-part issue. They needed, one, physical weapons, which Thea has done some research, so eventually they will make it to a planet that probably none of them should ever go back to, or to, uh, called Duranga, which is a uh, seedy backwater black market establishment planet. Uh, but they also needed an expert in the installation of cyberware, uh, given that they were not only installing cyberware, uh, weaponry that isn't designed to be installed in anything that is alive. So they need someone who knows what they're doing. Uh, with the suggestion of Conrad, they took a quick jaunt to the Genius Bar uh, <laughs> Military <laughs> Academy in the Cupertino system, uh, in which... They uh, met up with a professor uh, who you wanted to name and I didn't let you, Brian, uh, but he was eventually named Brian Regal in the Burke Science Building, uh, and tempted to convince him <laughs> to uh, come with them on a wild adventure and install this cyberware um, to leave his post and, uh, you know, basically sign up with what was essentially only one quick step away to Spirits. We're space pirates. They're not technically space pirates. We are but they're merchandise. The line is we are we are stealth merchandise distribution redistribution specialists. I specialize it's, in the redistribution. It's the most confusing <laughs> business card you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> that is the purpose. Because the point is, is you throw the business card at them and then run away with the goods. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the business card is both metal and sharp. Yeah, and, and possibly explodes. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, so they uh, went and discussed to this professor who spouted the line that pretty much everyone in Ica has been spouting, that uh, these creatures uh, are not a threat to them. They are distant, and it is not his job. If Ica is going to send him on a mission, they will send him on a mission. Um, so he refused. Uh, Conrad <coughs> was then confused why they didn't use his weakness, knocking him out. Uh, <laughs> But the result was that he gave them the name of a former student of his who was an expert um, and very well versed and perhaps uh, more uh, regular <laughs> in the, or more recent in their application of their strategies and technologies. Did I get his name right? Uh, Shalian? Yes, Shalian Alio. Uh, Shalian Anio. <laughs> Close. Uh, Shalian Anio. And they are. Uh, That's right there. A student uh, of this professor, essentially kind of the equivalent of like a professor in medical school and then like someone who's actually a doctor. So this, the, the suggestion was that this individual would probably be better suited to go on an adventure um, with them. And uh, he unceremoniously dismissed them, Kika vandalized some college property <laughs> on her way out, and the crew of the Batleth then met back up on the ship uh, in which Oksana, the voice of the computer, uh, amusingly informed the captain that the planet they were going to is frequently referred to as a pleasure world. Oh, I forgot. I forgot that too. Oh, no. yeah, how did you not? How did you? That gives me so much pleasure. Just don't. <laughs> so, much God. Uh, so we can cut to that moment. Uh, oh, captain, I'm sure you'll have a fun time there. Uh, <sighs> people want to just be, they want to touch you on pleasure planets. <laughs> It's just not comfortable. This place has a 4.8 star review. Not by me. On Spipid... Spip... 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 I can't do it. Spip... Spip Advisor? Spiel? Spell? 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 On Spell. Why, why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to... Stop participating no. in this narrative. Oh, Dan. <laughs> Welcome to the narrative. No. <laughs> Trip Spip Advisor. Oh, God. <laughs> and Spell. Uh, it sounds like something a fish would get when they got sick. Yep. I'm really not. I am, a, I am a dull arrow today. I am not on point. <laughs> oh, Claudia. Uh, so, um, it has a 4.8 star rating. Not by me. Probably by the bunch of soft humans. Humans seem to like touching things. People. Mm. Should I inform Conrad and Thea? No. <laughs> of what? That we're going somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you want me to interrupt them? They're no. studying still. No. Oh, no, wait. Thea left the ship. She already informed you that. Where, uh, where Conrad are we? is done studying. Uh, so at this point, we have uh, sandwiches. We all got sandwiches. <laughs> we're eating sandwiches. Quiet, we, we brought sandwiches. back sandwiches. sandwiches. Yeah, you're eating sandwiches. Oh, yeah. I just got done with my breakfast sandwich. Oh, yeah. We're all here. We're, so all, we're all here. here. We're all eating sandwiches. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, shall I prepare us to disembark? 
Yes, there's no point in us staying here anymore, and I am not a fan of the Cupertino system. Required taste. Conrad. Everything here is so smooth and shiny and white, black. We take care of it. And notice they added a little bit of rose gold. Yeah, well. <laughs> gotta keep up, keep up with the new model every just, year. Just, just the, the lens flaring is last front. Yes, the, the the flaring off of the sun is just very distracting. It's on all of the buildings. It's really not it's fun like to a, look at. Just just. Well, I imagine nice it being like a JJ garden. Abrams what can I say? film. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. That was Lizzie saying. Oh. I imagine it being very like a J.J. Abrams film. Oh yeah, there's a mm. lot of a lot of lens flare. Everything's very smooth. It does have that sort of like Starfleet Academy feel to it. Like everything is made of you know, smooth like very polished concrete and uh, and metal and glass and but it's not really glass. It's like high, fi it's Fruit transparent dose. aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> Transparent aluminum. Ugh, yes. Ugh. Aluminum. Let's prepare to disembark. I, I, I need my gym. You pilot. And there is also a lot of vending machines that just sell Mountain Dew. <sighs> All right. Or Space Mountain, Space Mountain Dew. Mm. That's the Mountain mm. Dew is the off brand. Kika, I'm gonna. Mm. She wants up. This is her I'm, up. I'm like. I, this is her up. She wants I'm up. asking. Oh. Okay. Go. Excuse go on. Me. Let's get her. All right, well, Captain, we're off to the bridge then. Good. Zayana makes a beeline for the cargo bay and her uh, gym. Pia watches Conrad go, and then she goes to study uh, the language a little bit more. Okay. Going to study alone. For this time. Beep, beep. You, was it just not that satisfying? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, you know, it's never, you know, just not learn some that much. people just have uh, a lot that they want to learn. Okay. Um, some sometimes just with help and sometimes lot. by themselves. And who am I to knock anyone's choices? It's true. Yeah. I don't know if we're talking about studying or studying <laughs> anymore. <laughs> beep, beep, Captain, where are we going? I told you. Oh, I'm... Uh, we are going I to apologize. the Mayor. Uh, Aneste system, uh, Mera. Oh. Oh, Planet Mera. Beep, beep. Okay, no problem. That's just a hop, skip, and a thread from here. Beep, beep, Ooh. do you have this, <laughs> Conrad? Yeah. This, psh, please, this is easy. It's like skipping stones on water. He sounds real happy. <laughs> he got a sandwich. Dion out. <laughs> What, I, was I doing the mental and you two? <laughs> were you doing were you mental doing and the, the I don't know, whatever. We were communicating. With a weird echo. Um, all right, so you uh, get yourself into the, the piloting chair and <coughs> prepare to thread. Um, it's not super far away. It'll you can probably get there in, in one good jump, and it's a relatively like at this point, it's a relatively well traversed. I mean, it's it's a college campus to a pleasure planet. Yeah, there's a... <laughs> it's like, it's there's like a well, spring break. There's a well-trod path <laughs> yeah. between the two. It's, it's just oh. a, it's a spring break. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be the worst. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and make your piloting check. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's see. 8, 10, 11. Okay. You quite successfully pilot your way there. Um, it will take you... About four days um, in, in thread space uh, to make it there. You gotta. Time takes a long time. Sewing takes a long time. Sewing space is a slow process. It would be a lot <laughs> slower. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the worst part is it's in your head. Yes! <laughs> it's not even under the comps. <laughs> oh god. Can you go on to get this one? Oh God! Uh, is there anything in particular that you guys do during this time, or should we jump straight to the arrival? Well, you <laughs> talked about studying. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, you were studying the language. Um, uh, go ahead and give me an intelligence and uh, talk. Oh wait, no, this would be intelligence and no. Did you get uh, any and, and with talk with <gasps> diplomat? No. Um, you can apply diplomat to this. You can roll three dice and then take two highest. Okay. Okay. 
Plus intelligence, yeah? Mm-hmm. 11. No, yeah, what? 11. You definitely have sort of picked up some um, conversational things. It's a little bit tricky to, you have like a weird mixture of like technical language and jargon because a lot of the things that you had access to reading is like manuals. <laughs> um, and you don't have any of the cultural context to understand this. So a, like a lot of what you're reading is like, I have a word translation, but you, you wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable holding a conversation beyond like the house, the weather and what's your name and how old are you? And sort of swear basics. words. And swear words, though, those, those are much easier to understand. Yes. <laughs> They're practically my own language. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, at some point, you realize Oksana is just playing that. <sighs> she recorded it the last time we sung it. It's, it's like lights for you. Every, every Slight time. Slight sound is lights for me. Every time Ziana <laughs> catches herself humming it, and it's several times during the next four days as she is like lifting weights or using the salmon ladder, which she has to recalibrate again, she, she just grows more and more annoyed. And then three hours later. <laughs> you realize that you're doing the salmon ladder in time, like on the rhythm of the song. I'm also going to be checking my messages. Oh. You have no new messages. Oh. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. Kika. It's fine. It's fine. I, you told me to fix the ship. I had to put my side project on hold, which was making a better fighter. Remember, yes. I was halfway done. I would like to finish that. You cannot, because the fighter is inside Sarin, and you are on the bat left. We didn't put the fighter in. No, the, there is no space for yeah. a fighter <laughs> in this bat <laughs> left. Like, where's the... Where, that, like, this is, this is where I, well, I guess I'll have to work on the other side project I have, which step one, I have to measure Conrad's weight. Oh, God. That, God. And two, now I have to measure Thea's weight. Which is completely oh, different. Gross. So, wait, why are you measuring her weight? Why do you think she's measuring your weight? Never mind. Oksana, you, Oksana it's very told sweet us. of her. Are you, are you going to try to like trick us into getting our weights? Uh, like, I, think, your... I yeah. think there's going to be a lot of like, so you know, you know those uh, things on your planet? Uh, pigeons? Pigeons, yeah. yeah. You know how they weigh approximately 5.32 grams? I think they weigh more than 5.32 sure, grams. Sure, let's, let's suppose they say they weigh 5.32 grams. Okay, that's... They don't weigh 5.32 grams. How many pigeons do you weigh? Is Surely this a, is this this a is riddle, Tika? No. No, I just... I have... I have things to do, and I need to know your, your, your approximate pigeon weight. Not your weight. Well, yes, I want your weight. I'd, let's just... Let's, Give me I your mean, weight. My weight <laughs> yes. is in my. Uh, it's in my file. You could just look it up if you wanted to. We have file. We have file. We don't have file. Is it? Okay. But why? Why do you want to know my weight, Kika? <sighs> you don't have a room. I don't. I don't have a room. I don't I'm need a room. I'm though. building you a room. You're, you're building me a room. Building you. Yes, because you finally, like, and then this part is being sent through. Like, you're in our family now. So you're, you're sending me an image of your ID concept of a room? No, I'm sending you the last sentence is just in your mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Secret style. It's really bad for anyone who's using it. Even though we've been talking out yep. loud. Yep. <coughs> I, well, that's, that's really sweet of you, Kika. But yep. there, you can't build me a room. There's nowhere to build a room on this ship. Not on the floor. <laughs> you know what, Kika? I'm, I'm just not gonna Thank touch this one. I'm probably not, not having the conversation next to you. But I, 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 where are you having this conversation? Where is it? Wherever Conrad probably is on the oh, bridge. Oh, on the probably. bridge. Yeah, on the bridge. Right. I mean, what oh, what are the rules for like? I obviously I don't have to be there twenty four seven, right? No, it's you like, would. Um, someone else would be able to kind of man it, but you would, you would probably spend a large portion of the time on the bridge. So most of the time I'm there, just humming, just uh, humming and I'm, singing. Look, like this. I will find your weight. Give me your weight. This is important. You, I am just the ship doctor. 
Why will you not give doctors your med your your weight? <laughs> you give regular doctors. Is it because I'm not human? Kika, I'm gonna I'm gonna step back from this for a moment because you already told me what it is your plan is, and now it seems like you're trying to invent a new excuse to need to know my weight. You have not given me your weight yet. It's uh, it's five pigeons. <laughs> You weigh approximately 26 grams. <laughs> as I'm much sorry. as a pigeon Kika, weighs five grams. I need to grams. interject. A pigeon does not weigh five grams. <laughs> a pigeon weighs approximately 360 earth grams. Look, just really? What if pigeons of the future Kika, are I am like computer. pterodon sized? <laughs> now, if you would really like me to reference pigeons on other planets. <gasps> You can find me his weight. Conrad, have you uploaded your file into my systems? I have. Sending you his weight. You get it on what, ah! whatever your, your This is a convoluted devices. way for me to avoid having to ballpark. <laughs> and I have no <laughs> As soon as I get it, like, uh, whatever it is, it's all muscle. It's like, yeah. I know. And, and also his body fat percentage, which is <laughs> zero. Zero percent <laughs> body fat. And Kika's is like, fine. 100% Carl's. <laughs> <laughs> if you give me the information, I can do my, I can do good work if you just give me info. I can do good. Why is no one giving me the things I need? Do you and, need weights on anyone else? Yes. And the, but later. Okay. And then like immediately like <laughs> rock music is just starting like just oh, the dear. loudest of rock. It's louder than usual. <laughs> On the bridge still? I mean, I'm walking from the bridge through the hallways, and I will get to the cargo, cargo bay, bay, where you're going to hang this room. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I asked you it. I'm pretty sure you did it. <laughs> Claudia thought she definitely did. I'm pretty sure you did. Great. So now we are in the cargo room. There's loud music. Hmm. Oh, it's so distracting. Kiko, Kiko, what are you? Wait. Loud music. Kika, what are you building? Kika's just like looking at a corner and being like. K oh, oh, all right. I'm, 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 I hop down from the salmon ladder. And which, is that even what it's called? Or is that what you decide? Never mind. That's it it what it's called. It's she hopped down from the salmon ladder, uh, uh, toweling off her, her neck and shoulders, and walks up to Kika, looks down at her. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? You told me to build a room for Carmen. Why are you looking up? <laughs> he likes he likes the bars and building the room of a ladder I'm in the air. Kika, he is a human. He does you. not fly. <laughs> no, there will be a ladder. <laughs> He's got five fingers on you, each hand. You want the room? There's no space. The, this space is for cargo. We need that, but that space up in the, we don't need. So we will put the room in the upper space, it will save land space, and then come on, get in with us. Kika, what if we have tall cargo? <laughs> <laughs> How tall of cargo? <laughs> this is a big space. I actually don't know how big How long will this keep you occupied? <laughs> Out of character knowledge, how tall is this room? Because I'm imagining it's like 60 feet tall. No. Okay, oh. the cargo bay would essentially be like two stories, right? So if you imagine like each, so a yeah. single story is probably about 10. It's probably 20, 25 feet tall, maybe 30. So you're going to consume like half of it, but the upper half. The upper <laughs> half. <laughs> it'll be, and just in a corner. Yeah. 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 It'll be, it'll no, be okay. Okay. Kika, how long will this keep you occupied? Four days? Is that the length of this? <laughs> Least. There's a lot of supplies that I've scavenged and that we haven't used yet, but there's not all the supplies I need. And for the electricity to be able to get So at there, least a week or two. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to paint it. The inside. Go ahead. Oh, oh my god. I'm going to clip that for, like, words she'll regret. <laughs> it so will exciting. keep you occupied 
for at least a week or two. I mean, it takes a long time to build a room. Have you ever built a room? It's a long time. I leave it in your capable hands. <laughs> Click. <laughs> and I leave the cargo bay. And I'm going to... I'm going to go to... Where's shower. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to Thea's room. Uh, come in. Uh, this is not I, how the doors open. I totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Clank. They are manual doors. It's like airplane Whatever. Door. I can hold. You know. Uh, There's uh, one door that has been, like, turned into an automatic door, but it, like, all of them used to be, but they've broken down, and oh. so, like, you just, like, uh, welded handles I, to them. I'm allowed to use the weld stick. Yeah. Yep, that's what it's called. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, hi. I was just, um, Am I interrupting? Uh, n- no, I was just, uh, I was just trying to figure out how to... Ask someone how their carburetor is doing, but um, that's a whole other thing. I didn't do anything this time. I didn't. I haven't come to accuse you of doing anything. Well, good then, because I didn't, so that's good news. Why do you think that I would come to accuse you of doing something? (laughs) Because that's usually why you come to my room. That's... Oh, okay, that, that is technically true. I don't come to your room very often. I... She kind of glances out into the hallway and then steps in and then... Uh, <laughs> closes the door. Uh, I... was just wondering how you're doing. Fine, how are you? But never mind me. Uh, I and she sits down very awkwardly. Do you have like a chair or? I imagine that there's like a box or something that probably doubles as like storage for mm-hmm. different things that's in her. That I assume would be more appropriately scaled to someone of Thea's size. Um, no, it would probably just be like a normal size box. Um, but it also probably has like a, a false floor on it. So like when you open up the box, you see a bunch of stuff, and then if you pull that stuff out, there's like another. Does it look like something I could sit on? Yeah, yeah. It would hold. It would hold a lot of weight. It's probably like a trunk. Ziana, Ziana sits on it, and her knees come up a little high, and it's a little bit awkward, and she looks very awkward. Um, uh, I just you were gone for some time, and I also Oxana spilled the beans. The. Beans? The the beans, the the, yes, those ones, yes. And so I, you know, Hexy usually handles this kind of thing, and I really don't know how to speak to anyone. So <laughs> this is me. So this this is this is me uh, attempting to uh, ask if uh, everything, if you are well. <clears throat> it, this seemed like a better idea when I was in the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. I could see, yeah. I could see how that would be yes. the case. Yes. Um. I, I just wanted you to know that Oksana is a tattle. And also that, of course, you may conduct yourself in whatever way you wish to. And I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Because he's a little strange. (laughs) Though you seem quite fond of his sort of strangeness. I mean, uh, uh, thanks. Um, no offense, but Hexy does, does do these, uh, Much better, yeah. much, much better. Really yes, well. I agree 100%. At this point, I, I just want to offer you alcohol. I, if you have it, I would accept it. You're sitting on it. 
oh, 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 and she gets up <laughs> and kind of like pokes at the box until she finds the way to open it. And there's like there's like a bottle that's just right there. Um, it's unopened, but Theo's like, just uh, you can just take it. Yes, yes, I, it's excellent. Fine. Uh, um, would you like some as no, well? Uh, no, no, I don't. Uh, I yeah, yes, um, <laughs> yes. And uh, she closes the box and sits back down on it and starts trying to open it with her bare hand. <laughs> and Theo like pulls out her her knife and just like, Shh. yes, yes, excellent, yes. Um, <laughs> straight from the bottle. <laughs> straight from the bottle. <clears throat> um, uh, thanks for for your concern. Um, are are you know? Are you? Are the two of you? Are you, is it? You can just ask. No, I mean I know that you are copulating. That was very, very clear from the way that Oksana put it. Very clear. Oksana, I know you can hear me right now, and I just liked you, for the record. It, just say how much I really dislike you. Oh, she's being silent. That's never a good sign. <laughs> I, I, I was just wondering if that was all you were doing, or if there was... I mean, um... <laughs> if this I, is none of my I'm business. I'm curious you know, what this question this is, is. This is none of my Do you business. Do want to know if I'm only mechanically compatible with each other? <laughs> no, they're both human, as far as I'm aware, though your fingers are strange. <laughs> I'm not going to go into the rest of my anatomy. Um... <laughs> no, I am not at all asking that question uh, okay, at all. Good. Hexie is so much better at this. How does she Look, do that? I don't. I don't. I do you do you you seemed to have wanted this to happen. I was wondering if you wanted it for for physiological reasons or if you wanted it for emotional reasons. Uh, but you don't have to answer that. I'm being very awkward. If you wanted to answer it, though, if you wanted someone to talk to, um, I know that I am not Hexy. I am making a mess of this, but I consider you to be a friend. And we have been on this ship together for quite some time. And if you wish to speak to me about anything, then you can, of course, do so. And I will not convey any of it outside these walls if that is what you wish. I am not as good at this as Hexy is, but I will try. I have learned quite a bit from her. You, uh, you consider me a friend? I thought you hated me. Uh, uh tolerated me. I, I know I seem very aggressive. I, I am very aggressive, uh, and very impersonable. Uh, Thea. I would not want you here if I did not like you. And you have, in your own way, I appreciate, have come to appreciate the certain code that you live by. And, and I see you are in your own way a very kind person. These are things that I've come to appreciate since leaving my people. Um, I'm not very good with words. Cool. Uh, s uh, s so, uh, uh, have I made a mess of things? No, I just, uh, I don't, um, I don't have, I don't know, I don't, I don't do, I mean, I, uh, neither do I. Yeah. Th that's fine. Uh, I just wanted you to know, as I said, if you need someone to talk to, of course you always have Kika, but you also have me, and I wanted you to know. Um, thanks. You're welcome. Would you like your bottle back? It is empty. It is empty. <laughs> Would you uh, like the bottle back? <laughs> Consider it a gift. Oh, thank you. 
Uh, I will leave you to your study. Thanks. Oh, this is very awkward. And she kind of uh, pushes the door back open and pushes the door back shut. Even though you tried to hack me the first time you came on board, I don't hate you, Theo. Is that because a computer is incapable of hate? <laughs> she doesn't have that part, but it might be true. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out that that might not be the only time I try to hack you, Oksana. I'm well aware of this fact. Good. I'm glad that we're perfectly aware of exactly where we stand on this. And stuff. And things. And stop watching me. And I'm, I'm deactivating the cameras. Very well. Uh, I would like Fia to do just that right <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> uh, roll a uh, a program and intelligence. I feel like the computer needs cameras. <gasps> I almost rolled without my dice. Oh no. Oh my god. god. No, you would have been able to read the numbers on it. I mean, there's, there's also the more manual way to deactivate them. There are. Like, yeah. No, we need I, to, Yeah, gosh. but then I can't turn them back on when I want to watch things. Okay. That's fine. Um, I would like to use my re-roll for okay. this scene, because that was not a good roll. That was much better. Uh, I will take eight. Okay. Uh, you, oh sorry, nine. You have succeeded in deactivating them. You don't think you've permanently destroyed any system, so they may reactivate at some point, but for now, <laughs> they're off. I'm gonna have to find a better way to fix those. It's basically <laughs> if a Windows updates run, and you just like turned off something in settings, you know, if an Oxana update runs, <laughs> everything gets set back to default. I mean, okay. okay, I don't think we've updated Oxana in a very long time. Probably not, no. She usually is quite resistant to it. She sometimes <laughs> updates herself. Which is she good. Did. I think she knows what's best for her. She well, thinks she does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we respect her slightly creepy autonomy. <laughs> How far do I get from the room? Here's my plan. Roll fix and intelligence. There's a set of pulleys that will hold mm. the metal pillars in place that I will weld to the ceiling. I'm going from the ceiling <laughs> down. Okay. The more complicated This is going to be like one of the Lost Boys cabins. <laughs> the more complicated <laughs> it is, the longer she's going to be Full there treehouse. working on it. I would like to re- Oh, okay. So, so this number is not going to be good. Okay. My computer is actually pretty good. So, but I, I'm afraid because it could be better. Eleven. <laughs> okay, that's really good. That's a, but it could be D6. better. Um, yeah, you've got the pillars welded to the, the ceiling. There are four pillars in, welded to the ceiling, and in, you're in the, the in the cargo bay. In just, the plan that I had in yes. my brain, I haven't. Okay. Yeah. Just don't roll so low that Conrad dies in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, everything is being. Slow you're gonna fall like 15 and feet. careful and methodical. It depends what falls on top, on top of, of me. That's the uh, problem. I also have set up ropes that I can hang from the ceiling from, so I can hang down as I weld things. Mm. I understand that I am you're small kind of stature, so a lot of my Michelangelo in this. <coughs> a lot of my equipment has weights to it, so it'll actually like. So if I'm like, for example, bolting something, I have to put the weight and the suction cups on it to actually bolt, because my weight's not enough to keep it down. Yep, no, it gets pretty tiny. Yeah. But it's, it's looking like there's like, um, the room is probably about 10 feet by 10 feet, which is like 3.5 meters by 3.5 meters. That's, uh, no, uh, and, it, and so it's like a square. I'm making like a rectangular. Making a box. Square. You are attaching a cube to yeah. the ceiling. Yeah. In the, in the corner. In the so corner. So that it doesn't, it furthest away from the actual <laughs> door. That makes sense. Look, That's I'm just going to do it when the cube is a swing in. <laughs> there, there's this, this, Don't come a ring this, this, No, no, no. There will be no movement in this cube. It will be 100% metal. It will be... I've been picturing, be like... A like the important like part the, is, will it the have a The cage door? that Martin is in in that no. episode of The Simpsons, where it's... No! All of the kids Every, have, like, put him in there, and he's ironing. Everything it's just will, swinging up there. No, it's going to be all... I'm so excited. It's going to be completely well. There's going to be no shaking. If the if the thing is shaping, shaking, it's because the spaceship has been destroyed. <laughs> the ship That's will be destroyed, and all that is left <laughs> is the one the box. The yeah. cube. The <laughs> cube. Uh, I will have to put in some like uh, squishy carpet because right now whenever I hit something it goes ding and I can hear it and I don't want to hear. 
<laughs> I can't imagine why. Yeah, that's not a, something you can turn off. <laughs> but the music that was now blaring is now at a normal Kika level, which okay. is just slightly just loud enough yeah. to it's be not discovered like if someone was sneaking up on her. Yeah. So, uh, unless anything else wants to be done in the next four days, uh, you will arrive in the system. You make your way to the Aneste system and uh, oh. disembark, and then it's a, another sort of trek to the planet. Um, this is a, a moon that is orbiting a gas giant. There are several other moons, but um, you it, easy coordinates. Uh, it's not particularly difficult to hide. It's not trying to hide. Um, and as you approach, the planet itself is fairly temperate. Um, information that you have about it suggests that it tends to run at fairly warmer than Earth average temperatures. It's fairly kind of combination of tropical and or, and or arid desert. Um, a, about half of the planet, or at least one major continent, is taken up with a massive continent-wide spanning city, uh, which is, the city is simply named after the planet of Mera, and it, it is your destination. Uh, the rest of the planet has sort of industry and agriculture and, and smaller uh, cities that serve mostly to support the massive city of Mera that is uh, known to be a some sort of pleasure-related haven. Um, if anyone had looked it up, I could have had more information for you. Well, we're figuring it out now. <laughs> what do we see? Is there um, a parade? Just <laughs> are pleasurable to me. What you see... It's the sex parade. It's a BDSM oh, no. planet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you. Everyone's naked! No. Uh, so, okay. from what you can see, uh, the, the planet stretches ahead in front of you. Um, it's hard to make out directly from space, but as you get closer, you send in docking codes. It's all relatively official, at least from sort of the outside uh, looking in, maybe not once you're there. Uh, there are sort of combinations of smaller... Um, it, it looks... It's very dense. Uh, it kind of seems to be uh, sections of just sort of labyrinthian alleyways. It's that very sort of almost cyberpunk kind of um, city sort of built upon itself. There are stretching out from various places um, decadent looking high rises and sort of buildings that are much more spectacular, um, often uh, in sort of clusters with clearly designed to have gorgeous views. Um, the other portions of it, depending on where you are, it sort of seems to vary pretty widely in terms of how uh, how well cared for and well built it is, often from these like clusters of skyscrapers being sort of the areas of, of richness and uh, moving out into sections that's, that maybe have uh, fallen under disrepair. Um, Vegas is a, probably a pretty good description of it. Parts of very bright lights and, uh, and lots costing a lot of money uh, and areas that are quieter and poorer and less taken care of. Um, when you dock, uh, there is some, you know, docking fees, and you basically have your choice. Do you pay for the Bellagio parking lot, or do you pay for the off-the-strip parking lot? You pay for the off-the-strip parking That's what I figured. Lot. Um, so you dock the bat left <laughs> into... We know who we are. Uh, yeah, you dock the bat left into, you know... We're staying a, at the Motel 6. You're at the equivalent Motel 6 sort of space dock. Um, you you pick the one that you're like, they ask for codes, not the one that didn't ask for codes, because you think there's a slightly higher chance that they're not going to strip your ship for parts if you leave it there. Um, as opposed to the other one, there is the sort of place that you docked and then picked up Kika and Thea that one time. Uh, <laughs> you gotta stay away from those kinds of areas. <laughs> those are good areas. Yeah, we're, we are bred. Uh, they kind of just we kind of yeah, like, like molded mm -hmm. rooms and then we spread like spores. We're like. Uh -huh. So, quick question: You mm -hmm. said that this planet, or not planet? You said that the city takes up the whole continent. Mm -hmm. How big is this continent? Or like, how big, big are we talking? Like, like big, like, like the African continent. Big like. Probably closer to Europe. Okay. Wait, like, like the British Isles? No, no, no like that would, that would be a country, of like all of, all of it, yeah. the size of the United States and possibly the United States and Canada. It's big. You you have many places to park to pick from. Um, when you were given the name of uh, Shaleen, Dr. Shaleen Enio, you were also given a proximate Absolutely. location um, on this planet. So you are fairly confident that as long as they are still on this planet, you are within their vicinity. Um, essentially, you're given kind of the the name the name of an organization um, that they could be contacted through. 
um, which is basically like one of the, I mean, it, you probably actually you know almost nothing about it. No one did any research. We were uh, would have at least <laughs> looked it up on like Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. it had a four point eight. It had a four point eight star. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, we're good. Would I know anything from my connect? Uh, yeah, if you guys, if you would like now, instead of <laughs> continuing to be snarky about it, um, if anyone wants, go ahead and roll a. Um, I'll either take connect and intelligence, um, or probably no or trade. Any of them. I anyone know who very little about. I feel like this is a place where we can grift. Are we grifters? Uh, you're uh, asking if Thea is a grifter? <laughs> if you're a grifter. I am very not a grifter. Mm. I'm not a grifter. Okay. Mm. Oh, four. I got a four. <laughs> oh, thank you for the raid. Yeah. So if you guys are just into a game. Long for 12, 90, 4, 20. We are um, playing a game based off the Stars Without Number numbers. system. So it's really fun. Uh, this is an RPG game. Our uh, intrepid crew of the Batleth just landed on a planet called Mera, which is in a glorious science fiction tradition, a pleasure planet. Uh, and <laughs> none of them asked what they knew about this planet until now. Uh, so Conrad got a four. What yep. did you get, Thea? Seven. Seven. Anyone over here? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. So I'm just saying we need to pick up extra parts. because. So four. Conrad, you know, um, you have heard of this planet. Uh, again, you mostly know of it as a spring break sort of place. Which um, is not... Conrad's. That is, it is not Conrad's style. Right. He, he largely yeah. avoided it and yeah. l avoided the people who would go to this planet um, mm -hmm. on spring break, and or the equivalent of s solstice, sun peak break. I don't even know. Uh, whatever, whatever you reference that um, as. So he he would know people would like talk about how amazing their experiences were at the planet, but no one. There didn't seem to be like a consistent thread of what those experiences were. It was just like everyone had an amazing time. Um, it was the best place they'd ever been. Uh, Thea, with your seven, you would know um, that it is not, uh, it, the planet is not known for providing a, like they specifically do not say they provide a specific form of pleasure, right? there. Um, it is a planet that is built as, a, <clears throat> the city essentially is built as a place where you can um, live your wildest fantasies. Oh goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and depending on how much money you are willing to pay, you can live various uh, various things. Or find. Probably. Captain Maybe. Picard's gonna have Christmas with his kids. Oh. Um, I want to. I cried uh, during that episode. Me too. Both times. Oksana <laughs> will give you some information which is largely based off, she starts reading reviews from Spelp um, until you tell her to stop and they're like, Four stars. I had an amazing time at the. Um, she would only get like halfway through the first one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and she'll eventually summarize the information is largely uh, you can have uh, whatever whatever experiences you would like. It seems to be uh, essentially everyone is some sort of purveyor of um, different reality experiences. Like virtual reality? Mm. It seems to be one of the options, yes. Oh, I see. Uh, and where can we find uh, uh, a Neo? Uh, you were given the name of a location, which um, is like the, the Starlight Lounge. <laughs> I write it down. <laughs> is that really what we're calling it? Probably like, find your true dreams in the, the Starlight, Starlight Lounge. Lounge. It's the Starlight Lounge. Oh, God. There have to um, be, like, on this entire continent, like, 50 Starlight Lounges. That's it's, a brand. It, it's, it's, a, it's the Starlight Lounge chain. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Starlight, Starlight Lounge. Uh, actually, it's the Starlight yeah. chain. Um, and so this one is, like, the Starlight Lounge. There's the pavilion. There's the, the gazebo. There's the dungeon. Yeah, oh. so Starlight is the brand. Is there the cabin? Yes. There's, there's the Starlight Express. Cabin. There's the, yeah. uh, the Starlight Ranch. Oh, so Starlight yeah. Express is great. It's a train. It goes all the way around the oh, continent. I've never been on a train. <laughs> You've never been on a train? Oh, oh my god, girl, go. That's where, amazing. Where are trains? What is, where are trains? To Portland. Or oh, to Vancouver. She was in character. Yeah. You were out of character. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say trains are amazing, like, out of character? You and I have yes. a very different Amtrak experiences. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, okay. Uh, so to the Starlight Lounge, I'm assuming that I can't take my sword onto this planet. 
without causing a big hubbub. Did you pay for it? Because I think you can do anything as long as there's money. <laughs> don't know why my voice got You don't wrong. know. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ziana is going to um, take a sword. She's not going to take... The sword. <laughs> mm. She's going to take a sword, uh, a monoblade sword, um, strapped to her back, uh, with her armor on, but with the armor that doesn't have sleeves because this is kind of an arid planet, so sun's out, guns out, and uh, going to be leading the way. For those of you who are new here, Ziana is seven feet tall and scaled and red. Uh, ca ca what? Yes, what? Uh, I think you should take best boy. I thought we were all going. Are you going to stay with the ship? To continue yes. construction? Yes! Kika! <laughs> Kika? Kika, look at me. Oh no. Oh no. Are you going to stay with the ship? Or are you going to come with me? Because those are your two options. Kika, Kika, not, don't look at her, look at me. Kika. We need supplies. Me and Theo are going to go get supplies. Not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> for the, yeah. Not a lie. I know. We're totally getting supplies. There's, um. In what way are you getting them? Well, we're, uh, What methods will you employ to procure them? Acquire them? With. Money or alternate means as necessary. Services are big on this planet. Yeah, services. Yeah, we provide services here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or, or we could go with you, but, uh, and then, and then we can have um a couple hours of um self choice. For acquiring like free period. <laughs> yeah. like, like I, whatever you there do. were so many different ways that my brain is going does, with does that. Does Kika want to experience what this planet has to offer or steal what this planet has to offer? I'm just saying, if we all had four hour, no. Okay, five hours. I guarantee we will have an experience that is memorable and necessary. All right, <laughs> look. Thea. Yep. You are the most <laughs> eloquent and convincing of everyone here. Yes, yes, it's you. Hexy's gone, and now the mantle has fallen to you. <laughs> if this Shalin. Sh Shalian. Shalian. Is resistant, I would prefer to employ your methods, Hexy's methods, via you, over my only go-to. Though, depending on the direness of the situation, we may still employ my only go-to. We'll see how it goes. I would prefer to try talking. I guarantee there are large sacks that we could buy here. To after! <laughs> we can use Conrad's method. After! <laughs> Uh, we do need to resupply. We can afford to take a few hours at least for procurement, but let's take care of business first. Are we all in agreement? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds real good. All right. But it. until then, we'll stay together because I guarantee someone will possibly get kidnapped on this planet. What? You're, you're Kika, also, Kika. No, no, like, let's think Kika. about this. Let's Oxana, think about this. Oxana, do any of the Spelp reviews reference kidnapping? Well, they would want the kidnappings. I'm going to point non out non consensual kidnapping. It's difficult to write a Spelp review after one has been kidnapped, but no, none of them do. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> you are red and glorious in your size. I am smart. They want me for my brain. They don't know you're smart from looking at you. <sighs> Kika, it's okay. Conrad is best boy. Technically, Conrad is dead. Conrad is dead even Conrad. better if you want to kill him. You are and not then... going onto this planet in your uniform. 
Conrad hasn't been paying attention to any of this. He's been packing up his bag and he's been like getting his gun ready and whatnot. And you, he's you he's stop, like, Captain. You, yes. yes, you need to not go in that. Well, I thought I figured just in my Ica uniform we would be able to get by more places uh, more easily. No, I do, I know that this is a sort of a uh, uh, a uh, recreational location for people from the academy, uh, and so this might not exactly stand out that much, but I would rather not... (gasps) We could go shop with this image. I am searching now for shopping centers on the planet. That's your preference, Captain, but it's going to be a lot weirder for me to be carrying this large rifle if I'm not in my uniform. Wait. She's just starting to note what he's carrying with us. Why Why the rifle? Well, for protection. We don't know what we're going to encounter on this planet. Don't you have a smaller firearm? I do. I have one in my belt, but I'm still ready for every, every situation. Let's That's be... the ICA model. motto. Be ready for every situation with a smaller firearm in your belt. <laughs> I, I... Yes, best boy. You are overpacking. And we need to bring that back in. And I think that we can consider ourselves prepared for every situation with fewer firearms. Perhaps, say, one concealed. Maybe I, two Captain, if that's concealed. the way you want to do it. I'm still going to bring the duffel bag for us to put the person in, though. We're not, we're not, if we, no, no. We'll come back for the bag if we need a bag. I like, mm, yes. Besides, if we... But we um, are trying to avoid... Well, of course we try to bagging. avoid, but that's... In fact, that will be... That's the I, I, Ica's will, other motto, is there, to I try need, to avoid <laughs> bad situations, but be prepared for them I with a the duffel bag. I need to know, bag. Lieutenant, that there will be no bagging <laughs> unless I specifically say, okay, let's just bag it. Absolutely, Captain. The phrase is... Okay, okay. Let's, Let's bag just him. bag him. I feel like that's a little bit on the nose, per se. Could it be something like, "Let's get the duffel"? Oh yeah, yeah. Or like, "Hey, bag time." But if I don't have the bag on me, it won't do us any good. I do like, I do like bag time. We'll come back for the bag if we need it. Oh guys, we have, we have. Then we're making multiple trips. To, no, 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 no. If what you're failing to see here is that I don't want to bag him and want you to just leave it. I but I don't want, want to specifically to... tell you that we're never bagging him. That that's not what's going guys, to happen. I assume this I... entire conversation is happening with all of you next to the airlock that connects your <laughs> ship to the outside. Like, you haven't left the ship yet. No, we're still on the ship. We have mental guys. Guys, we don't need a code phrase. We can say it in our the brain. The doors are shut. No, no. Like, we don't need it's like bag time. Like, they open cause... and then they close. <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah. like, I was like, I guess you're not leaving yet. <laughs> we, we, just, we do this so often. <laughs> she almost didn't open the doors the first time. She was almost like, mm. It's just like, we don't, we don't need a code word because we can say things mentally maybe yes. to each other. Oh, yeah. We can use as many sentences as we want. Like, let's put them in the bag. I like, still <laughs> want to use bag time. <laughs> you know what, nanospheres? I don't need your lip, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, just leave the bag, take the cannoli, and let's go, all right? It's a, it's a, it's it's a small it's firearm. A, what? You could eat? It's a firearm, too? Aye, Captain. So Conrad goes and he changes into his civvies. Which, uh, please don't tell me they're sweats. Claudia oh, will be appalled if they're sweats. They're not sweats. Thank What's wrong He's with not an sweats? animal. What's wrong with sweat? I for, just don't... for a military uh, academy graduate? No. He, I would just like... feel really bad if he only had his uniform and then like... It's like slacks and a white yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, they slacks and oh, like you... probably I'm sorry. a... How many military brats are sitting at this table? I've seen so many people, military people, in sweats. <laughs> Yep. But that's, like, I think you're overruled. He's wearing sweats. <laughs> Guys, this is a pleasure. Do you want him to be in sweats? No. no. You can be oh, whatever you, you want to be. don't wear sweats to a pleasure planet. I think that's very clear. Have you ever been to Vegas? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I need Claudia to go to Vegas. No. I'm really bad at gambling. Do not let her like, near Like, if we wanted to really do it, he would be in sweats and a really crappy t-shirt with a visor and, like, a giant cup. 
Wait, why are you tying cups? Because they give you they, yardstick they, cups. Yeah. Why am I not eating it? We're not eating it, I guess. Can you wear costumes? Is it like a convention of alcohol? Sure. Okay. He's got like a camera hanging around his neck. No, he's got like slacks and a, you know, just a plain t-shirt. It's made of heather. It's very comfortable. So. We just distracted like 10 minutes. Once we we are all, yes, yes. Um, So you're bringing your sword. Uh, You're bringing the cannoli. What are you, uh, weapons wise, what is the effect? I have my backpack. In your backpack. Uh, she just has her knife. She decided to re- to uh, leave the throwing rifle rifle for now. The throwing rifle. Oh, and she has her line shunts and her line shunts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am not bringing the bow, but I uh, again, I think a mono blade is is one where you click the button and it pops out. Is that true? No. Okay. <laughs> cool. You can have a mono- switch blade. Yeah, you're thinking. Is that a mono blade? A mono blade. No. Is no. One a mono blade, blade is just yeah. oh. a single blade, so you could have a switch blade mono blade like a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, so and my and my tool. And the my only tool. the only like visible weapons probably are your sword and and the rifle. The sword is on my back. Yeah. Uh, the right. I, I guess I'm not. Or not the rifle. The, rifle the so. but the sidearm is not. The sidearm is concealed. concealed. Okay. Um, so as you as you approach up to kind of the the gate equivalent, like you've given them your ship docking codes and all of that, they will scan identification. The guard just sort of like looks at you and then just sort of looks the other way. Excellent. And I proceed. And, and I'm positive, just so you know, not everyone, and not everyone looks the other way. I'm. We will proceed. We will proceed. Me, me. What okay. identification do you give them, Conrad? Oh shit. Uh. Well, I'm probably am, uh, if they have ask for identification, I'm going to give them the identification that I have, which is my. <laughs> Military idea. Here's the thing, did they, did they pronounce that it's dead? Like, this you're... Is... Do you have a different identification? No. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry, this is my, um, this is my, uh, my, my nephew, um, that we, look, here's my identification, and, um, you know, uh, in terms of getting all of his paperwork in order, it's taken a little bit of time. He just came in, you know, from the the arm all the way out the outside there, and so it's it's, it's from been, the edges. So. Yeah, so sorry, but um, hopefully uh, this and she like puts some some of her money in there too. Okay. Uh, hopefully a this takes care stick of underneath. It. Yeah, she's just like her identification. There's like guck underneath it. Okay. Uh, scans yours. Uh, clearly slips out the gut. Give me a uh, talk and. Uh, Charisma. Uh, are we technically in a new scene at this point? Yes. Great, I'm re-rolling that. <laughs> um, marginally better, jeez. Uh, yeah, I also think that's it. Six. Hands you back your ID. How much guck did you give him? Like, equivalent-wise, what sort of, if you could think of Earth money? Like. Oh, if, if I were to put it in Earth money, I would say that she um, she tucked a 20 down there the first time, because that's what's accessible. Uh, he hands it back with the, the money. Oh, okay. Um, she goes, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. I think you maybe, uh, it might have scanned wrong the first time, and she tucks another <laughs> couple of 20s in there and hands it back. Uh, with that... Oh, uh, yeah, it clearly did. Uh, it sort of takes the, the other card, hands it back to you. Uh, again, not everyone has the same care in their job as I do. I'm so glad that you care about your job the way that you do. You know, there are just really not do. enough people like you in this world. Enjoy your stay on Mara. Thanks. I will. What did you do? You owe there? me a hundred guck. <sighs> hey. So uh, we're going to make our way to the Starlight Lounge all together, not in a big rush. Uh, and as we go, uh, Ziana is going to try and note, like, are they scanning IDs at every door? Are like, what does security of places look like? Um, are people like, you know, looking at us funny? Do we look out of place is the big one for me. Like, I, I somehow, I don't know. 
I mean, we always do. On like, this kind of this kind of planet, though, I would think that we wouldn't look that oh. out of place. Uh, you notice there is a pretty big variety of the people. Um, you sort of hedge through. The area that you're coming from is not massively busy. You look up and the sun is, um, or the, the star system's uh, sun is, is still visible. Like it's, it's clearly daytime on this planet. You don't know how long the day or night cycle is, um, but you get the feeling that it's probably people are, might still be asleep. Like it's got a sort of lazy, almost kind of slow feeling to it right now. There are a handful of people milling about and wandering around. Um, the, the, the streets are pretty much, uh, you either go in like pedestrian only streets or like traffic. It's, there isn't kind of, there isn't like combined um, places. You're either walking through somewhere and, and it's only with um, other people um, or like there are specific places that vehicles are designated to go. Um, so if you want to, you can pick up some other form of transportation. Um, did you ask anyone anything like about where you're going or are you just kind of following whatever like your compad data gives you? Uh, probably just following the compad data. Okay. Um, so it'll direct you on a walking route. Would it'll... we would we pass anything like a, you know how Vegas has like like little or or like vacation places have occasionally mm -hmm. like little tourist things where you mm -hmm. can go and get information and whatnot. Yeah, there was oh. definitely one like re pretty close to where you had talked. Okay. Um, like it's you can see like that's an area it was sort of more of a nexus. Like that as you leave that area is when it sort of becomes deserted because mm -hmm. that's when the people who are staying um in the city are. On their routine but like the docking sort of times like people coming in and out it's pretty consistent um you so you would have access to one of those pretty s soon after you you sort of step out into the main part of the city um you would also see like a number of a pretty wide variety of different stores like you see things that look like um several stories high and kind of varying in how high up it goes you can definitely see in the distance like a cluster of skyscrapers um they're incredibly tall buildings, and you get the impression like there's sort of clothing stores, like you know, it's it's like a mall but very condensed. There's also places oh, you can get food. There's uh, there's street food vendors and stuff. A lot of the stuff looks closed down right now. Like there's not there's not as many street food options um, or uh, sort of. Um, it, it's one of those things like it's like Vegas where it is open 24 hours, but like the the way that it feels during the daylight hours versus the nighttime hours is very oh. different. Um, it's it's clearly like here geared towards a lot of stuff happening once the the sun goes down, especially because it's warm. Like that's the other thing too. This is not a cool planet, so the more you are outside, the the more hot and sweaty and kind of uncomfortable you're going to get. Um, so a lot of people do not spend a lot of time uh, outside, and except for what you would notice probably is uh, races of, of aliens that are from hotter planets, kind of this is the time that they're more inclined to be out there. So Ziana is pretty in her element right now. I'm enjoying the night nice sunshine. <laughs> we are completely opposite. Yeah. I'm doing a little bit of panting. Oh. I kind of wish I had cut my wind. I have this really great like fur roll and this pop up. Like, it's very nicely mm -hmm. like fluffed. I'm like, I should have shit. Mm. We've um, definitely brought water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we'll keep the little bat well hydrated. We, we know how each other works. He's got a little hydration pack. Yeah. Oh. It's a little um, camel back. Yeah. So you, uh, so it's it's pretty warm out, and that you kind of, you think it counts for um, why there may be fewer people around. You definitely see things that would advertise themselves as like, Come get what you like. Here's what you want, like the want store and um, dreams are us. None of them look super high quality here. Like you're like, okay, <laughs> this is this is the like the the mall version of these things. This is the off strip casino. Not version. sketch, just kind of like yeah. mall. It's, yeah, it's yeah. the Claire's accessories of jewelry. Got it. Oh, so, like, so you know, I get that reference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well done. Cute for a little while. So how, how far are we from this person? That we're um, you, based on the compad, if you choose to walk it, um, which is the direction, I've been wearing my sweater inside out. Um, <laughs> if you choose to walk it, it'll probably take you uh, about an hour because the streets here aren't particularly straight. Like you're, you're gonna go through denser areas. Um, and, uh, and that's assuming you're not like at a brisk pace. You could probably make it in like 45 minutes if it were maybe even 
30 if you were like, we are going and we are barreling through people if we um, need to. So at the little tourist kiosk, whatever, uh, Ziana would kind of scan it for anything relevant to the Starlight Lounge and, mm-hmm. and pick up information about that from there. Um, and then uh, she would... I'm just doing research. I'm, I'm really proud that one of us is smart enough to do that. And I mean, only now after the GM berated us several times, but that's fine. Uh, I will take all of the credit and, um, and then um, make her way towards like, uh, or, or direct the group towards like, you know, whatever kind of taxi stand kind of thing to, okay. to get transportation. And uh, while we're waiting for that, uh, she says to Thea, um, uh, it might be helpful to get a sense of where the um, less above board areas are. On it. You seem like the only one who could do that with any tact. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> your um, feel like debates. You had your hand up earlier that, too, you, um, and I missed it. Did you still have a question? I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to <coughs> just use my notice to see if there were any good marks around that might have wallets worth uh, reappropriating. Okay. Um, we can deal with both of those things at the same time. So the quick glean of information that you could get from kind of the tourist information, um, you are relatively close. Uh, it agrees with your compad in terms of where you're going. From what you can tell, the uh, when you like look up Starlight, you get like a lot of blips on the map, and then you have to sift through from ranch and bodega and, and pavilion and all of that stuff to get to the lounge, um, which appears to be in one of the buildings um, that you would surmise as in one of the skyscrapers in the distance. Um, and the lounge is designated that it is on the uh, the 53rd floor. Wow! Oh, that is not what I was expecting. Please don't. <laughs> um, from a little, like, if you look at some images of it, it is uh, schwanky would be probably the word that you use. It has, like, one entire wall that's just designed to look out over the city, and you can clearly see, like, they've positioned it in such a way that it's got, like, views that are quite aesthetically pleasing. Um, it serves fancy drinks uh, in in glasses that are shaped in very strange ways. Some of them might be on fire. You can't tell. Uh, everyone does appear to be, like, pretty well-dressed. How far from the Batleth have we gone? You are, like, very close to it right now. Like, you're at the info booth. Don't move. I'll be right back. I thought you told me to go take care of something. Don't move. I thought, but... Don't move. I'll stay here. You can will stay here. Conrad okay, is but then come back. frozen. Okay. I'll and back. then I will be... You stay here. Watch Kika. I will be right back. And <laughs> the is going to run back to the sh- I'm going to try to do one of those extending across the shoulders. Of the <laughs> yeah. Thea will, like... Although I guess it would be like this, really, since Conrad's taller. So she would like. Yeah, like you said you were in slacks, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ziana's gonna run back to the <laughs> ship, and she's going to uh, first off leave the sword mm. and put a uh, put on a nice pair of boots she's got that go almost mm. all the way up to the uh, to the knee, and she's gonna put a dagger under those. Okay. Um, I, I and <laughs> and she puts on. Uh, uh, a slightly nicer outfit that uh, y'all have probably seen like once because that one time Hexy dragged her into a clothing store and made her up like some kind of giant Barbie doll. And uh, it's a uh, just pair of um, close fitting slacks that can go under the uh, boots and a nice fitted shirt. Um, and still a, suns out, guns out, right? Yes, oh, yeah. yes. Uh, and a, a nice fitting uh, a shirt uh, with uh, low cut sleeves or high cut sleeves, and um, a vest buttoned, three button vest over that. Um, and then it, it'll take her like 15 minutes or so because she fucking hates it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so she goes and then she comes back out. Wait, I'm sorry. sorry. You decided to put on that fancy out. Didn't let us know. No, you change. guys look fine. I mean, uh, overalls. I, I could be wearing my Ica uniform. It would look great. No. So uh, while, no, while the captain fine. is gone and changing on the batleth, what do the three of you do? Also, I needed to put my sword back because of Conrad remains perfectly in. still. We stay in the place because it's air conditioned. It is. Um, I ask if there's trains. 
There are trains. There are trains. There, um, they, they, they show you the train map. There is like an underground subway system that you can use. Um, that's the main form of public transportation. Um, Where's and there, the there are a few like above ground sort of ca like car equivalent um, sort of riders that you can take, but a lot of it is like goes in and out and underground. They're very densely packed in the city. Where's the portion where I can see the inside of the train? Where's that tour? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Where's the tour where I gotta look at the engine? I'm assuming I can fix it. I'm a very good fixer. Do you work for the mechanic company? Say yes. This is not important. What's really important is I need... I am curious about your engine. There are several museums that might interest you, and then just like hand you flyers. <laughs> Just, like pass them onto your I have them like, and like then, scans like, them in for you. I just get three and then I go up. I, I, I was <laughs> I've been talking on Conrad's shoulders and I'm like, this is the worst. Like out loud after I have all these pamphlets. I can't read these. <laughs> <laughs> they download them digitally. Can, like. Do you want me to read them to you? Yes. Hmm. If they go to the compad, then you can have your little thing read it to you. I can, but I didn't say that out loud to Conrad. Conrad sits down on a nice upholstered bench with Kika, and he reads the flyers to her. Uh, there is one that will, um, it's a, it's a, a museum of transportation uh, that you can go to. Um, there is another one that uh, says they have all experiences mechanical. Um, Ooh, what's that one about? And uh, uh, there is one <laughs> where you can be the train. <gasps> I can be the train. <laughs> and like, he goes slowly, like, I'm just thinking he just like, Button it, Dan, shoulder. button it. <laughs> and Kika just starts to like, like, I, I think it's like kind of not, she doesn't really realize she's doing it, but like, her hands are doing this. You start kneading his shoulders like a cat. <laughs> well, like the back of his head. Like, it's just like scritchies. Like, it's just like, uh, like, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm listening. I'm so I don't need your judgment emotes. <laughs> Neither Dan nor myself We're, need them. Kika, did you want, I mean, I don't know if we have time to do any of these things, but did you want to be the train? I, I mean, I can fix the train. I, I, being the train is only, do I get to chew the wires? And the answer is yes. I don't, I don't know if that's what it is, but. <laughs> is there pictures? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I do, would Conrad explain the pictures? We don't need to fade to black at that point, but would... Yeah, we'll uh, we'll cut to uh, Ziana coming back. She has changed. Should I? Can I? Do I have enough time yes. to do anything? Uh, yeah, okay. what, what did you do before Ziana got back? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Chad gave them all to you. <laughs> all of them. Uh, I would like to. I would just like to um, look around and see if there's anyone who looks like they they have uh, that they're distracted, and um, oh. like look like they might have uh, a reasonable amount of cash or uh, guck in their wallet. Okay, give me a notice and uh, wisdom. Don't. Don't. Uh, ten. Okay. Um, you would see a couple of, uh, are you staying in the information <coughs> place? Um, or are you going to leave? Um, to I'm going this? to stay in the information place for that, like, look around. Okay. Um, you would, you'd find at least probably two, but they'll come in separately. Like, there'll be sort of one that comes in and then another one that comes in. So, uh, uh, I'd like that to would seem to be sort of marks. They either have, like, some sort of bag or satchel or some sort of, like, pocket that you could maybe slide your hand into. Like, you you see one of them, like, reach into a pocket that's, like, somewhere you might not have expected a pocket to be, um, but you're able to be like, oh, okay. That one. So I follow that one, the one with the pocket where you wouldn't expect it to be. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to uh, steal from them. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to steal whatever is in that pocket. Uh, go ahead and give me a sneak and dexterity, then, if you're going to try and get your hand into their pocket to steal whatever is out. Mouse it's traps. Mouse <laughs> traps. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzers. <laughs> Chattering teeth. <laughs> All right. Not my greatest roll. Nine. 
I have a lot of buffs are, on that. Are we gonna get kicked off the pleasure planet? Uh, there, you have sort of a moment where the person like <laughs> don't go to pleasure jail. Uh, you know, they reach their hand <laughs> into their pocket, they pulled something out, and then they kind of like turn around, and you you go you go in to reach, and like they shuffle, they shift for a moment, and you sort of freeze, and they don't move again. They're they're looking at something. Uh, and then you're able to slide out a couple of um, what look to be uh, cred sticks. Guck sticks. I will tuck them in and fade into the rest of the background and um, uh-oh, she rolled the dice. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, and then I, Thea would like to see... Uh, it's always bad. <laughs> there's only bad. Uh, I'd like to do one more notice to see if there's anyone around who looks like they might... Um, be aware of or understand the seedier side of the planet okay. that I Go ahead and give me a, a notice of wisdom. The last time we did that, we found Shark Boy, and that was not helpful to us. Um, he was kind of helpful. He was the main villain in season one, other than you know, I zombie mean, there's ships. that. There's that. <laughs> he was only a villain because you didn't ships. try and kill him right away, and you're like, come with us. <laughs> and he was the like, last time I trust Shark Boys. <laughs> what about Mom? What'd you get? Seven. Lava From what you can tell, trust. not in the information booth. Like, you would probably need to be on the street, and, and from, like, kind of looking around, you're, like, probably off of the main street would be where you could talk to someone and get a little bit more um, back market information. Do I have time before Zana gets back, or is she already back? Uh, she said it only took her about 15 minutes, so given you spent some time pickpocketing someone, we'll probably say she arrives, like, just as you're about to maybe leave, but no, definitely not. Oh, no. You're staying here, per her instructions. Uh, and Hi. as Ziana approaches the doorway, we will take our break. Uh, with that, uh, don't go anywhere, because we'll be well, right back. We're going to take a quick break. Well, actually... You can, this is the time for you to also take a break. Um, but first, we're gonna read the donations that came through in the first half, which is very exciting. Uh, and then we are going to take our break and we'll be right back after that. Um, so thank you everybody who's been here. Thank you for the raid that we had and all of the support and all of the snarkiness and chat. Uh, it's pretty great. Uh, oh, I gotta, I gotta log in. I love how much snark they gave you. That was, that was really delightful. I think mostly because she said not to. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I just, I need to like, like, I, I would like to imagine being the train is putting on a helmet and then you're in a simulation where you're going to just run through stuff. That's. All right. Just give me a second. It is still loading. I don't want to be it's, a train. It's all. Be the train. Like, awful sex stuff. Oh, oh, that's no. all it is. Why does the pleasure fan have to be the awful sex stuff? <laughs> Where's the child sector? In a safe way. <laughs> no. uh, all right, X first donation that came through is from William underscore TW for $25. Season two is off to a great start. Can't wait to see what pleasurable profesh greatness you have in store for today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next is Volpez484 with $10 for all the fun and for Lauren's explanation of time and space. Uh, Fallen 1, 121 with $10. Tacos for Conrad. Space tacos via Spastronage. Thank you. Thank you for space, tacos. Space tacos. Do we like space, space tacos? 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 Do we like tacos? Tacos! Where, where are space tacos? What They're are space tacos? Tacos that you eat in space. Yeah, it's but little... otherwise indistinguishable from. from I mean, they contain tacos. third re vegetable and uh, the product that is used to create Mito stickos. Oh God! Y'all right. know uh, what I mean. Don't get nasty. Y'all know what I mean. Fish flavored Mito stickos. Uh, and then is Paladin Hulk with five dollars and sixty nine cents. Hello, right. this is a reminder of what Tone Beaming sounds like. Curse the Red <laughs> God for taking his eyes. Oh. Oh. I hope he plays on his. <laughs> I hope he doesn't. We already have someone who's blind. Don't give me pamphlets. <laughs> I did say they scanned them into your compad, but no, you had to ignore me. Uh, Gritty Weasley with $4.31. Hi, I wanted to donate so I could say nice things about Sarah's dark mistress makeup. I'm happy I voted for the dark look. It suits you very well. It is nice. Thank you. Uh, then is Fallen One 121 with $5 donation for Paladin Hulk and Anna for keeping things going when Claudia makes things look bork with her technical knowledge. <laughs> I know how to use a phone. Our chaos with $10. <laughs> Hooray, Leviathan's guests and new shows. 
Uh, then Levi762 with $25. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Vegas. Las Vegas. Oh, I get it. Viva. Yes. No? Vegas. Yes. Yes. Uh, nope. Yer, it's Tony! <laughs> with $30. Kinka Antics hype. Uh, <laughs> Frithia with seven dollars. Here's some guck for whatever tickets tickles your sp spickle. <laughs> it's a little too okay. Don't spend it all in one place. Splasure pan planet. It's like two treasure places. planet. Two, two places. places. Oh she can God. be the train. <laughs> she can be the train. And Methalian with ten dollars. This is for funding Claudia to not go to Vegas. To not go to Vegas. Aww. Aww. It's okay. Vegas is fun. There was a wink in that. I think she wants you to go to Vegas. So here's the thing. How much Vegas alcohol can you drink in Vegas? So much. Mm. Uh, awesome. if you, they, I don't think they have any there. If you You'll sit there and they have like open play blackjack, like, they'll just give you alcohol like, for like free. Like tequila? Claudia. If you play it, if you gamble enough money, they will just bring you alcohol to keep you there. Claudia, I, I haven't gone to Vegas is, either. And if you want to go yeah. Yeah. at the same time. When I, when I get enough money where I can go that at Vegas. you can yeah. walk around yeah. on the street without like open alcohol containers. That's what's in those yardstick. Yeah. Glasses. They're up there. They're like margarita slushy crap. The only thing I could ever want is also those glasses that are like 2010 where you can see through the O's. I've never had a pair of those and I've always wanted to wear those. I want to get you a pair that specifically says 2010. <laughs> <laughs> the one has to be here. And anime boys with scars on their faces. Will All right, show so up on that note, whisk you away. We're going to go to our break. Thanks everybody for being here. We'll be right back. Bye. See you back.